Oh, we now have Jeff Spring of the Disc Golf Pro Tour joining us again here on Tour Life. Jeff, we appreciate it. I know you're on the West Coast, so busy with conferences out there. We appreciate you uh, jumping on here. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully uh, you guys can hear me okay. Yeah, I'm out at the uh, sports ETA symposium trying to uh, work with some sports commissions from uh, cities across the country, but uh, happy to jump in and uh, thanks for having me. Of course. So obviously this past week, I don't think anyone can't expect something like that to happen. And I don't know if there was protocols of how the pro tour was going to handle it in place already, but can you just, for the people that might be listening and not know exactly what went down, can you just start to finish of what happened to, you know, where we're at now of the situation? Yeah. Happy to jump in. I'd love to start by, um, you know, saying that we did put a statement out about this. And so you can go to the website and read, uh, most of what we're able to say, you know, and the other thing is that we worked directly with, uh, Metro police and, and there's an ongoing investigation, um, with Nashville PD and, and Metro police, um, you know, and they've advised us on, you know, maybe not disclosing too many details. So I'll, I'll share what I can. Um, you know, I also want to clarify that there was no specific threat. So, you know, I think that maybe some language about a mass shooting threat got out there and, and that's not the case there. It was targeted at, uh, one of the competitors in, in the event. Um, and so, you know, you asked about the timeline. Um, we do have security protocols on site and, uh, we basically, notified the police department as soon as we got a threat in and it came to the tournament director that morning mm. um so that we bumped it right up to the the police department which you know before each event we talked to ems and police from the local city or municipality and make sure that they're aware that we're having an event make sure that we have a, a recognition and a quick line of contact whether it's with a ambulance or ems or uh you know police and fire um so this one went to police and they listened to the message and uh, bumped it up the chain. And they gave us guidance that we basically followed throughout. So when I say, you know, we, it was basically all through police guidance. We don't have specialists for dealing with threat on the tour. Um, so that's why we rely on local police enforcement for this type of stuff. Um, the initial response went to a Lieutenant and he was going to bump it up to his superior officer. Uh, we, were, we were waiting and informed the player uh, that the threat was against and brought them over with the security officer on site, um, disclosed the, the nature of the threat at that time. When the lieutenant got back to us, he actually asked for a pause in play to get more resources there so they could check the site, check the perimeter, um, and make sure that they felt comfortable with us proceeding. And that's um, when you suspended, you put out that the event was currently suspended when we heard from the lieutenant yeah that okay. they would they would like a little bit of time to allocate a few more resources and to, and to check the site so he was able to come down um and you know they're able to check check the venue um they had given us the guidance to to bring people off the course um and so the course could be cleared and everybody could go back through they asked us to implement bag checks um and have some additional security personnel on site some off-duty police officers more metro police some some of the security um uh, firm that we had hired for the event and uh you know they said you know we'll be monitoring um you know and doing an active investigation so they're, they're trying to find the identity of the caller um and they were gonna just you know stay vigilant so you know once they said hey you know we're, we're comfortable um we decided to uh give it a little bit of time but then restart play um at that point in time it, with the police comfortable and with uh more security detail on site as well as you know kind of the decision was you know would we proceed um or really we weren't going to get any better circumstances we would just say hey the event's off um since the police were on board with uh you know the tournament proceeding that's that's where we went and um fortunately we were able to continue play without incident um you know however we have you know done some debriefing and analysis with the pdga as well um and we have plans to increase security protocols and and planning going forward at least for 
um, you know, the foreseeable future, which I'm happy to talk to. But that's pretty much the timeline. Uh, if okay. you guys have any thoughts yeah, or questions. Is, is the bag checks or, you know, even not allowing people to bring in their disc golf bags and now it has everything has to be in clear bag. Like it, what is what are things that we're expecting moving forward here because of something like this uh, could be a potential risk moving forward? Yeah, we are, you know, expecting to continue with bag checks. One thing I can say is that um, Seth Munzee is leading an effort. He's our director of health, safety, and player performance. He's leading an effort to engage with a event security consultant um, because we are adding more uh, security now going forward, um, just kind of upping the standard level. Yeah, uh, that might that's probably going to include bag checks, but really we want um, to turn to an experienced expert in event security. Uh, events is a tough business and, you know, sports, you know, with a lot of people, it's, it's not, unfortunately, it's not totally rare for a sporting event to have some type of issue like this. Um, so now that we see this as a potential issue for us, yeah, we're going to get in touch with some experts and make sure that we're not just throwing resources willy nilly, that we have a plan and, um, execute that going forward. How's the feedback been from some of the players? You know, I, I believe that the majority of the players, um, you know, were happy to hear that we were following local uh, police guidance. Um, I think that some players, uh, rightfully so, uh, want to know all the details and kind of hear about everything that might be happening or that could happen. I think it's natural for people to be scared. You know, even I or the police or our team, I think had some apprehension because it's, it's just impossible to kind of remove all threats. Um, so, you know, I understand some players, you know, wanting a little bit more information, you know, we're following police guidance on communication and they, you know, have their reasons for not wanting to release all details of threats, I think in these situations. So, you know, we're going to, again, talk to the event security consultant that we're, we're looking to onboard here. And uh, I, I think with a lot of that uh, going forward, you know, we can get more standard protocol. But in terms of like disclosing details of threats right now, we just follow what the police, you know, ask us to do. And I think some some players wanted wanted more. And we understand that it's just a it's a tough situation. Gotcha. Yuli, did you have anything? Okay. Well, Jeff, we know you're a busy guy and I appreciate you taking the time to pop on here. I know it was kind of last minute, but I think this was at least helpful for those that maybe had some questions on the timeline, what, what we can expect moving forward. But I think everyone's at least, I hope most of us can all come into agreement of whether you agree with someone's political views or uh, rules or whatever it is, you know, trying to keep, everyone's safe. I think that's everyone's uh, main priority. And I know you guys are probably doing the best that you can out there. So we appreciate that. Yeah. And I'll just echo that. I, I think we got into this, whether you're a pro player or the tour or the media teams to kind of bring the sport that we love and beautiful moments uh, to people to bring joy. And um, this is the opposite of that. And, you know, every competitor on tour and even the staff um, that tour around and, and go out to make these events happen. You know, they, uh, we just, we denounce this type of behavior. You know, everybody should um, act from a place of humanity and, and understanding towards each other, um, no matter who you are and who you are on tour. And so we're going to stay, you know, vigilant. We want to create a, a safe, a possible environment for the competitors. And we're going to keep pushing down that path. Fantastic. Well, we appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Good luck with everything Thanks, else guys. there. All right, yeah, take thanks it for easy. having me.